I see what old chaps and chap, it's game chap and Bertie here. Yes. Yes, indeed, fellows, and I dare say we are now bringing you here all of the new features in the exciting Animal Crossing New Leaf update. Yes, indeed. Now, we've got ten new features here outlined yes. that haven't been in the previous versions. That's right. This is quite exciting because, of course, this game first came out in 2012 or 13, and now it's being updated. And the first new feature on our list here is that you can now tap your Animal Crossing amiibo figures or cards on the new 3DS console, or if you have the standard 3DS console, you can use the reader, and then you'll be able to use those amiibo cards and figures in-game thanks to the features in this update. Okay, so I'm not sort of an expert on Animal Crossing, so you couldn't do that before then, no? No, no, no. Yeah, before, in the previous version of New Leaf, you can't actually use amiibos, but of course this update adds amiibo support, and arguably all or most of these features are really about amiibos, so it's quite important. So presumably there's quite a few amiibos that you can use for Animal Crossing amiibos, yeah? Ah, uh, yes, and we'll get to those. Now, here's the second new feature. When you meet Wisp, who is of course a returning character in the game, uh, by using a lamp there, you can rub the lamp and he pops up and appears, you can tap an amiibo to make Wisp transform into that character. For example, if you have a character of, I don't know, Egbert or something, and you tap it on the system, Wisp will take the form of that villager and that character. And then you'll get a menu pop up on the screen, and you actually get a, get a couple of options there. One of the options is for the villager or character to come and play with you in your town, or the other option is that you can ask them to give you an item. Oh, right, so, so morphing amiibo sort of thing. Uh, well, sort of, I suppose morph so. Morph amiibos. So, yes. so, so you can get this character, he'll morph or change into another one. Yes. Then, when, once he has, you can get him to give you something, a little uh, bonus or something. Uh, a bonus item, that's right, or he can come and play with you in your town. And also, uh, speaking of uh, these amiibo cards, there's a completely new campsite area. This is quite exciting. A totally new area uh, featuring Harvey, um, and I don't know what kind of animal he is, but one thing's for sure, he's a hippie, so we'll call him Harvey the Hippie. Now, in this area, camper vans arrive containing different villagers, or RVs, I suppose, and sometimes characters from other games can be in those camper vans too. Right, okay, so they're going to add, are they going to add sort of bikers as well? Well, I don't know. That's, just, a, that's a good know, question. I'm just, I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> no, I I'm don't just thinking, know. you know, not that they're related anyway, but I'm just thinking motorbikers. Imagine, you know, they'd be on the Harley Davidson's and things. I don't, kind of, do you mean Harvey Davidson? <laughs> that's a good pun, isn't it? Harvey yes, Davidson. Very good Harvey anyway, Davidson. Uh, well done, yes. so uh, when you go inside these camper vans, mm. you can then order exclusive furniture from your t for your town. I mean, from the camper vans using a brand new currency. And these furniture items that you get from the camper vans can't be bought anywhere else. So they're exclusive oh. to this update. Okay, right. Okay, so a bit distracted there with the Harleys, but yes, yes, oh, a very good impression. So there. we've got Harley. I'm um, sorry, beg your pardon. We've got the Harvey new the hippie. Harvey the hippie. Harvey the hippie. Harvey the hippie. That yes. is what caused it. Harvey the hippie. Okay, we've got Harvey the hippie in a new campsite area. Um, where we've got extra little things going on which we didn't have before. Exactly. Now, once you've gone inside the camper vans I was talking about, you can also ask the villager to live in your town, and uh, furthermore, you can actually buy furniture from Harvey himself. He has a little stall there where he'll sell you furniture. Oh. Now, this, of course, all takes place with a new currency, but we'll get to that in just a moment. Okay, because... so Harvey... Yeah, so, girl, uh, so, yeah so, so Harvey's actually got his paste table in the back of his van. Oh, yes. Which he whacks out on, on, on the drive there, and he's got some furniture to sell you as well. He most certainly has. He's quite sort an enterprising chap. Sort of thing, you know. Yes. Now, also, mm -hmm. there's a brand new AR camera feature where oh. you can take real photos and put your favourite Animal Crossing characters in them and resize them, etc. and so forth. So quite fun there. OK, well, how does it work, though? Hey, man, I forgot. We totally didn't do the hippie impression when we were talking about Harvey. Uh, do we still do that sort of thing, then? I don't know, man, but I just thought I'd throw that out there. Now, also, there's some t new features in the form of two new mini-games, and these oh, are quite right. exciting, I have to no, say. No, hang on, wait a minute, before we got to the mini-games, yes. we just said there, number four, about the cameras, yes. or the camera feature. Yes. Uh, what exact... Can you go into detail? What does, that, what does it do? Well, uh, well I mean, um, you may have seen this in previous Nintendo 3DS titles. You can actually take a photo of the real world somewhere, I don't know, anywhere you like, and, uh, uh, for example, of you or your friends or whatever, and you can actually then subsequently in that photo have characters like Tom Nook, Isabel, etc. and so forth in the photo using the wonders of the Nintendo 3DS. Oh, so you can take a picture of your Harley and then sort of put one of the characters on top. 
Well, why do we have to keep going back to Harleys? I mean, really. I don't know. Well, yes, I suppose you could do that. I'm stuck with that now. Now, also, as I was saying, there are mm. two new mini games. Right. Desert Island Escape is the first one. Okay. And in that mini game, your party of animals has to survive on a desert island. You'll have to find food and make tools, etc., and so forth. Now, the second puzzle game, uh, second game, I mean, is called Puzzle League, which is like a competitive puzzle game that you uh, play against other animals, such as Tortimer. Uh, these two new games can be played and accessed by you using the in-game Wii U console item and 3DS console item. Oh, right. That sounds technical. Okay, so we've got a couple of new games there that we can play. Yes. As you say, and slightly different. Each one slightly different. Yes. Now, uh, can you play those multiplayer, do you think? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But one thing's for sure, you can access them by using the Wii U console or the 3DS console, which is an item in the actual Animal Crossing game itself. Uh, I see, right. Now, I was okay. saying earlier about the new currency. Now, this oh. is actually called Meow Coupons. Yes, meow, meow coupons. coupons. It's called uh, meow because the meow stands for mutual exchange of wealth, you see. Oh, I see, right. Yes, yes, now you can get meow coupons, of course, from a cat dispenser near the town hall. That also stands for something, but I've forgotten what it was. But anyway, yes. uh, you can get these from the cat dispenser near the town hall, and you have to complete various tasks in order to earn meow coupons to spend at the campsite. Now, are they coupons or coupons? I don't Cu- really know. I'm not sure what a coupon is. I say coupon. I mean, that's how I say it. Coupon is another planet somewhere of the Miles or something. It could coupon. be. I, I don't know. I but think uh, it's coupons we'll go for. Come on, who's with me? It's got to be coupon. You know. uh, anyway, uh, moving on, uh, you can of course uh, earn uh, coupons or coupons by completing tasks, as I said. And these right. are everyday tasks that you do in your village. For okay. example, you know, I don't know, buying from the shop, gathering food, mm. catching bugs, etc. and so forth. Oh, I see. So, new, uh, a bit like in-game cash, coupons type of thing. Yes, they're yes. all these environmentally friendly hippie coupons that you can then give to Harvey because he says, oh yes, you've been doing some good things for the environment. We're together. We're hippies. Uh, no, I'm not doing that voice again. Anyway, oh, okay. right. Now also, if you buy the new secret storeroom feature for your house from Tom Nook, that's right, from Tom Nook, mm-hmm. you can actually bring up, and this is really handy, you can oh. bring up a much needed extra storage compartment by tapping the icon on the bottom screen when you're inside your house. Now, this new secret storeroom has four folders with nine pages each to store all your stuff. Oh, so these are things he's, what, picked up, dug out of the ground, or other such things? Uh, Yes, if you've played Animal Crossing for more than a few hours, you will invariably have hoarded up a huge number of items, which end up strewn all over your town, or stuffed in random corners, etc. and so forth. You don't have to have that anymore, because you've got nine pages and four folders uh, to store all your items in the secret storeroom uh, section. The secret storage section. Try saying that quickly. The secret, secret storage section. Store. Okay, that's a pretty good idea, no. think, really. Until you fill all the pages up, I suppose. Well, I mean, you've got, what, uh, nine pages on each one. Each one has, uh, let's see, is it, is it five or ten? Or I don't know. Anyway, it's quite a lot of slots, so you'll be yes. going quite some to fill that up. Yeah, that's good, yes. It's yes. a storing a storing additional things, yes. The secret so, so, secret so, that, that yes. thing, yes. Harley Davidson, next. Harley Davidson. Now, yes. also, if you buy the secret storeroom, right. Lottie from Happy Home Designer oh, will right. visit your town, and you will then be able to organise your furniture in each room by using the touch screen just like you did in Happy Home Designer. Okay, so this doesn't just store things. No. But you, you can also use it to uh, organise things and furniture, That's right. Et it's quite convenient because, of course, normally you have to go up to each item, press the button, drag it around manually. It's quite fiddly to organise furniture, quite annoying. But now you'll just be able to use the touchscreen to drag things around, which is very convenient. It is. Did you also know Yes. that you can also order... HHD exclusive furniture from the catalogue. My goodness, how did you know that, old chap? I was just about to say that. You can, yes. Oh, yes. You could actually buy Happy Home Designer exclusive furniture from Tommy and Timmy Nook's, uh, the catalogue section thereof, such as, I don't know, a giant teddy bear, things like that. And who doesn't want a giant teddy bear? I to mean, decorate really. your house. Okay. Yes. Well, that's a pretty good feature if you're a fan and you play a lot of Animal Crossing, now, I suppose. It adds a little bit of you know, fun to the game. Yes, and it's good to see those good features from Happy Home Designer mm. being uh, translated over, as it were, to New Leaf. Now, also, if you've ever been on online on in Animal Crossing uh, New Leaf and you've been to the island, you've inevitably or invariably come across someone who's either just a bit annoying or he's saying things like, give me money, I want free money, please give money and bells and items and whatnot. Really? Well, if you come across those types and you're feeling you just had enough of them, you don't want to hear them anymore, just leave me alone, you can press the mute button, a brand new turn off their chat function, which turns off and disables the chat so oh, you can just completely ignore them, they'll be shouting into the void. And also, if things get a bit rough and hairy, you can actually uh, press an instant 
go home option from the island. You don't have to talk to Leilani anymore. You can just use go home and you'll be whisked away back to your town. Uh, an emergency escape route, if you will, and it's so, an ejector seat. So it's a bit, you know, it's, 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 oh, I can see a lot of people here being rejected, you know, because what so you went there and yes. the, the person wasn't really annoying at all. He just said, hello, good afternoon, nice to meet you. And you thought, yeah, but I don't want to speak to this person. Go home. And he just goes. Well, I mean, and then he does it to another person and he goes home. Then the fellow thinks, what's the matter with me? I'm just saying hello. And they just go. Well, I mean, it, it is possible. It's, it's quite invisible that could happen. But in most cases, I'm sure people will find it handy for muting those yes. annoying users. Of course, it's yes, how yes, it yes, works. You'll, exactly. You'll be able to go away and just leave them or just mute them and tell them basically to shut up. Or those, shall we say, um, questionable users. But we won't go into that now. No. You could also completely, this is exciting, totally recreate your town from scratch. This is feature number nine from the ground oh, up. Yes, you yes. can press the recreate the town option and Tom Nook will pay you lots of for your old town. Ah, so this is, now this is a good feature here, but yes. the sort of way I think, I've just thought, well hang on, wait a minute, because if you've just spent maybe, you know, two days, three days, four days, or goodness knows how long making your town. Two years. Two years, yes. Then you press that button accidentally, you see. Well. I mean, then what's going to happen then? You can't press it accidentally. I mean, you have to have to specifically go there and ask Isabel I mean, to it says you get it. new faces. I think you would get a new face if you delete your town accidentally or change it. No, no, no. Uh, you, before, you see, you could only erase your town and start from scratch. But now you can actually basically turn your old town into a huge pile of bells. Uh, all new villagers, of course, will move in. And you can then rebuild everything to your liking using those bells that Tom Nook has given you. Oh, I see. OK, so obviously, you know, that when you do press that button, it will say, do you sure you want to change your town? No doubt. Yes. Or something like that. So uh, but, I mean, really... Good feature, really, I suppose. Yes, it is good. I have to say myself, is this the first time Tom Nook has ever paid us anything? I mean, really, this is almost very surprising. Usually we're paying him huge amounts of money for extortionately priced houses. But actually, uh, it seems he's turned over a new leaf. Pardon the pun, ladies and gentlemen. Now, uh, finally, fellows, feature number 10 is, of course, that Zelda, Splatoon, and Hello Kitty themed items and villagers will be available and are available at the new campsite by scanning the relevant amiibo cards or figures. This is really exciting because you can actually have Ganon the Pig in your town, or a visit, visit rather, Ganon the Pig. That is very exciting, old boy, I have oh, to say. I see. So custom so other sort of game yes. characters from Nintendo featuring in Animal Crossing there in a little sort of quir quirky sort of way. Yes, and it's not just Gan the Pig either. There's Splatoon cosplayers, Splatoon-themed items and rooms you can visit. There's Zelda items, the Master Sword, a treasure chest, a Breath of the Wild outfit for your character, and of course, Hello Kitty-themed clothing and oh. items. Oh yes, we are talking a lot of stuff here. Else. Right. This is quite an exciting new update. Uh, in fact, you know, I have to just quote someone here, or partially quote, it's not only the biggest update, for Animal Crossing New Leaf, it's also the only update for Animal Crossing New Leaf. He doesn't say it like that. Well, he says it close to that. That's a Skyrim reference, by the way. It, it's the only uh, happy body of release update. It's also the he only update for Animal Crossing. Uh, Sorry about that. Uh, well, I forgot the name. Yeah. He, anyway. For those of you wondering, who are even still watching now, it's, it's, it's that chap in Skyrim, you know, where you go through the village, I think it's in Solitude or something. Solitude. And he says, you know, he says uh, something about the pub or something, and he says, Yes, yes. Not the only one, it's the only one in Solitude. They learn like so that. much from our videos, don't they? Oh, it's amazing. Really really. Yes, yes uh, we'll chat on the end. Yes, we will. This hasn't even game turn, buddy, bringing mm. you the rather exciting Animal Crossing New Leaf update, all the news and details from your chaps here. Thank you, Miss. Yes. My name is Jonas, and we look forward to seeing you once more on the next exciting outing. We Until do. then.